And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Extra Ask Your Ask Your Ask Your Job. This is one for your main bottom line, Doc Wildcard. Welcome you back. In the previous chapter, Juchette and Bay had gone on a date to a haunted house that Bay was less than impressed with it. I can't say I blame him. It wasn't really all that great. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, I just... It's fine. I guess. Um... Okay, so... Alright, yeah. I'm gonna reload. I wanna make sure that I can get every drop of comedy I can out of this here. Okay, um... Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so, uh... this place is. Alright, the zoo, yeah. Um, this would be interesting. I'm pretty sure that, uh, um, Everett shows up and gets all pissed. That should be fun to see if that happens. I can't remember for certain. I can't believe I can't remember, but yeah. Yes. Hey, baby, feed him up. He's always free. He's American. For you, of course. Ruby, why don't you come to the Golden World Sesame store? One of the next place we do is not the... Okay, give me a second. Why is that not expected? Uh, let's just say that you and I like we don't have the same taste and date locations. Except for right now, of course. Uh-huh, you gonna come or not? I will, it might actually be a nice time. Well, I'm so glad you think there's a possibility. <laughs> You're welcome, sweet pea. It is a compliment, after all. Right, I'll see you tomorrow in front of you. Fine. Ta-ta. Yeah, bye. Okay, so, um... Uh, yeah, might, might as well, um... See if I can... Oh, okay, so yeah, I see now. Uh, yeah, if you click on the same button. Okay, that's how it is. Okay. I didn't say that before when I did that. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, there we are. That's a bit better than I did before, I think. Okay, so let's see here. I'm pretty sure I can... Alright, that's 30. I still wish this was actually possible. It, the, you could just pop a candy and it would automatically make time go faster. I would do that at work all the time. <laughs> <laughs> if I could. <laughs> oh well. Uh all right. Um Hey, good to see you. You too do that. If I pick it out sex when you like you I like you better not ruin it for me. I would never. You're free to pick out whatever you want, even if it's awful. Thanks. You know, baby, that other shit is giving me a pressing, the pressing, you missed the point of having a slit in the other shirt. I'm not missing any point. The point is that you can see what's underneath. Obviously, we wanted to see a plain gray shirt. Does that mean I'm still wearing something more stunning? 
or nothing at all, considering you, I'm guessing it's the latter, indeed, she is a very thirsty type, <laughs> in fact, that was what Molly, Girl Got Game, had uh, titled her very first video of this thing, it was so thirsty, <laughs> You are correct, there's no point in having a sleeve, doesn't mean the have more revealing. Sugar Plum, I know comments like that are one of the things you find yourself as a vibe, but I think those are stretch. There's no reason it's especially nice to see the side of someone's torso. Says you, not all of us are that picky, I take what I can get. Ha, <laughs> how awful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One more thing. I don't want to embarrass you. Does she really not want to embarrass him knowing her? <laughs> when you got this point, I think you grabbed the wrong pair of pieces. I so appreciate your concern, but no, I didn't. They're supposed to be green? Yes. Even though that has nothing to do with the rest of the outfit? Enough never has to go with anything else in terms of what you're wearing. Foods and drinks, they should go with each other. But you don't have to have anything matching with outfits, as I see it. They're supposed to be contrasting. Are they also supposed to be your face all day Christmas time? Yeah, there you go, red and green. Green and red don't always make Christmas. Yes, they do. What about red flowers with green stems and traffic lights? Sure, but there's certain scenes of green and red that always seem Christmas even put together. Your eyes and those glasses have the same look. This green is closer to a forest green than a Christmas green. Are you saying the trees don't grow in forest? Christmas trees don't grow in forest? Just saying. <laughs> okay, calm down. I wasn't being serious. Were you really that embarrassed by my little comment? No, you simply... You were simply a native of less known color designs. Oh yes, obviously. You are green. <laughs> I had to, because that's what this, this dude's name. Oh, welcome. It's nice to see both of you again. I dream, you know, Bay. Yes, he stops here fairly often. That's right. It's very unexpected. I can see why you're surprised you knew me. <laughs> Whatever, Bay. Uh, are you alright, Posey? Why are you talking to me? No, he was talking to Robin there. Okay. <laughs> I always have to do that whenever someone says that you talk to me. Yes, I am. George. Um, okay. Well, are you? Uh, oh, yes, I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. Uh, it's nothing, young chap. With the way you're staying off the space, anyone would be concerned. Why were you doing that again? I was thinking. I see. Thinking is a wonderful thing to do, but you may be supporting more attention to here and now, especially when you're in the middle of work. Don't you think, Starfish? Yes, that makes sense. Lay off, Bates, for like two seconds. It was all a suggestion. Yes, yeah, sure it was. Right, I understand. Understand what? Um, the conversation? Just so leave it to you, Percy. Thank you for all the advice. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. <laughs> That's right, so bad. Everything okay for you, Pay? He didn't offer to help us. Honestly, he needs to think more about what he's doing. Please, that is not. That's so not what you annoyed. What's really going on? It's nothing, Cookie. Fine, I'll figure it out myself. Ah, <laughs> cute. Have fun with that. I will. You know. But now, it must have something to do with that little talk with Adrian. How stupid you. Let's see. Are you mad because he didn't give you enough special attention? Or is it because he didn't answer to your smartest person he's ever met? No. Wonderful Santa Muffin. I'm not done yet. It's because he didn't get mad at you. Why would I want that? Because all that stuff about you being concerned was obviously sarcasm, and if you're going to be that sarcastic, you probably want the person to acknowledge it. Well, at least someone noticed. What, so I'm right? You're unhappy because you thought I actually meant you were saying? I suppose that's one interpretation. You're such a freaking nut. 
such person that passed with the entire same day where he you could have your opinion, but I would find it a little irritating because someone is here to be familiar with the concept. How could he not tell, or is he purposely ignoring it? I don't know which would be more annoying. I would you tell me didn't know it. Then someone should explain it to him. Have fun with that. Oh, I'm not going to. Why not? You're the only one who cares, Drew. <laughs> I'm positive I'm not the only one who thinks he needs better people skills, but I'm far too busy for more charity work. I'm not sure if this can be said and still be monetized. Uh, plus you sound like a major douche if you had to explain everything to someone that said you cared about them when you didn't actually mean. True enough. Jeez, I, to I know I told you not to run accessories I like when those backhanded comments you want, but you could have said something. So sorry. I wanted to leave it up to you. Yeah, but you're so annoyed, aren't you? I don't know what you mean, Ducky. Uh huh, sure. Wow, another meeting all every. Everyone know whoever's birthday is me, whoever has birthday. Really close together. Wait for Snake, that'd be cute. Happy, happy birthday, someone. Happy is not the word I would use today. Please, you guys are so easily discouraged. There's no reason why this shouldn't be a happy birthday. Even with jammies? Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be a fair statement then. Wait, how do you know it's jammies? I mean, obviously you would know if it was date or not, but you still could have been my first date. Calm down, you told us why you were waiting for you, as usual. Well, alright then, this got me deep. He's at least here on time. That already makes a thousand percent better than the pair they made for his best friend. Yeah, but still, he could still manage to make this the absolute worst. Don't know what that would have been. Hmm. Oh, cheer up, Jimmy. It's your birthday. So? So that's a good thing. Why? Because it's the anniversary of the day we came into this world. And? And that's pretty special, and so are you. No, it isn't, and no, I'm not. It's all meaningless. Told you this was gonna be awful. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this isn't awful. We all know that isn't funny. Jerry, why did I say Jerry? Jeremy isn't very enthusiastic. You have a gift for understatement, lady. <laughs> so the rest of us are going to make up for that by buying an extra celebratory off for his birthday. That includes you, Everett. Never in a million years would I be excited about his birthday. He'll be excited about his birthday before I am. Um, I take that back. I say you'd be excited first. You're the woody. <laughs> You're not that hard to impress, true. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. We'll definitely not see us out happy, Simon. Jeremy, please tell us what game you'd like to play. Uh... Do you even know any games? Uh, I guess we could do one never. That works. How many points did everyone get? Hey, wait, shouldn't you explain how the game... Yeah, I'm playing game pitch. Really? You need to explain? Someone says I never something and if you have done it, you must lose a point. I will not play that game. Ah, yes. This is a bit competitive. Where's this theater competition, Lynn? Come on. America thrives on competition. Oh, uh, well, yeah, but he's a. He's a Brit in my... No, no, he's not. Why would I insult him? Well, not insult him, but say that he's anything less than an American like that. I just give him this voice, that voice, because he, as I said about in Blood Droplets, he's um, Amer very much like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> I'll put the link down in the description, Blood Droplets. I'd rather have a game bring us together as a group, not put us one against one another. How about we all go around once with everyone taking a turn we don't keep track of points? 
I tie these fine, indeed. I'm sorry, but I think this is better this way. Is that all right with you, Jeremy? Whatever. Thank you. Now, it's your birthday, so why don't you start us off? And if you've done Jeremy's ever, you can step forward. Her. What's the problem? You're the one who's guessing this game. So, God, just go. Um, I've never lived outside of California. Fanny, you've lived somewhere in South California? I thought you came from this town. I would say most of my life, not all of it. Where else have you, where else have you lived? Well, you answered one question, that's been normal. Uh, yes, who wants to go next? I can. Thank you, Sal. So I never baked a pie. I'm still wanting to do that myself. I, I want to uh, bake from scratch, entirely from scratch, butterscotch cinnamon pie from Undertale. Um, and, uh, because I, I do have the recipe. I have two recipes, actually, one from Regina Panzino and one from a cookbook and video game recipes. But I haven't made the crust from scratch yet. I've made the fillings from scratch, but not the crust yet. Thanks, I will you know what? This is the only one who's never made a pie before. Oh yeah, why do you you baked pies? For classic. Mm-hmm. My parents made me do it when I was four or seven. My parents as well. With, 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 for the children. I just like pie. Good. Well, let someone else take a tie. I'll go. I've never broken a bone. It's neat, babe. You've never broken anything either. No, I'm careful when Beto do anything. Simply because I don't do stupid things doesn't mean I don't do anything stuffings. Mm hmm Whenever anyone else wants to start doing stupid things. Uh, I've broke my fingers and toes a few times. Most of the three things being dropped or closed on them. I got bucked off a horse and break my ankle a few years ago. And if you fell off the horse, did you get back on it? Oh no, I had a broken ankle when I came here. There are any horses to get back up on now. Really? Uh-huh, I stopped eating crutches right before I enrolled. Interesting, let's keep them coming. <clears throat> when I was in like second grade, I was in the kitty lounge with some friends of mine and points of watched squished in the corner. I only got wedged between people on a cushion. He popped through on the chair, tipped the other backwards, and my arm snapped from the way shifted because of the fall. Damn, what about you, Brian? I climbed up the tree and fell when I was trying to get back down. Broke my collarbone. That sucks. I also broke my arm and leg a couple of times. Ow! Fell off a wall once. Why are you on board? I climbed it. Guess you like climbing in your yard, huh? Great, great. Who's next? Me. I'll do it. I've never had a pet. Space on Jamie. <laughs> wow, Nate and Bay are match again. I'm starting to think that both of you have a little more. Need to live a little more. God. <laughs> Back home, I've got cats and dogs. What about you guys? We've got frogs in my house. Um, fresh when I was a kid. We have three cats. Very nice. Someone else take a turn, please. I'll do it. The read a palm green. Why in the world not? They don't serve them here. You could always get your on someone else. It's not that hard to make This isn't how the game works. Yes, everyone else will be a line of that palm green before.
You kill that rat? Duh, why would I go to the grocery store to get palm green? Because they're awesome, indeed they are. This seems a little extreme. They're fine. What is? Come on, you guys should really try some time. I'm not even not being complete if we don't have a pomegranate. What about you, Jeremy Fan? Do you like pomegranates? Um, I guess. I think grapefruit's my favorite. Fantastic. Just a few more. Yeah, do we have to keep playing? I can't think of anything. Here's the other, there's so many possibilities. This is so lame. Too bad, you're going next. Oh, I've never mm, want to skirt that happy. Yes, we are. Thank you. One? Not much of a surprise. Sure, we're still pretty disappointing. Haven't you ever you played dress up? Not with skirts, obviously. <laughs> All right, finally, you take the last turn, please. I've never played this game before. Perfect. Okay, this is weirding me out. Why are you actually participating in a group event? Maybe it's especially sad because it's part of his birthday. Don't say things like that. Will Happy is getting involved and I'm not going to make him feel like you shouldn't. Now back to the game. Uh, step forward, everyone who's played this game before. Guess that's it. Well, not unless someone wants to talk about the time they played this in the past. Who would want to talk about when they played a the game before they played because they're playing the game now? I would. We haven't played before, so all well for you. Game over. That's fine. We'll stop there. Thank you for playing and thank you for your suggestions, Emily. I'll about you open your present now. Whatever. Will you tell me what I want to do this? Just notice the surprise look on your kid's face. I wonder if it's over there. Why does he look so surprised me? There's a phone book of thorns, flannels, games, fires. You're all welcome. I hope you like it. Is the meeting over? Yes, that wasn't terrible, now was it? Could have been worse, I suppose. Good. Please make sure you wish the child a happy birthday on your way out. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Ah. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Ah. Happy birthday, Cookie. Mm. He's not even going to wish you a happy birthday. He already did. He's not going to again. Oh, well, happy birthday, man. Whatever. Happy birthday, sir, man. I hope you enjoy the day and the same goes for all of you. Ah, uh, can I leave now? Yes. Okay, that's actually gonna be the end of this chapter to keep this from getting too long. So if you did what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe and I'll also back fairly well.